Yeah, This is different, you've never been in a crowd like this. What, what? If you're banking on the bloody crowd up, you've got another thing coming. No, I'm just, saying, I'm just saying they're part of the party. You're coming in with cocky. With a big belief that you're just going to be in it, it's going to be an easy life. It's going to be it's easy not. work. Um, pop, pop, pinging you with a jab, your head's going back and forth like Noddy. Right. Why got up, no one chinned you. You, you won't go right. You I'm just doing a challenge, but I was going to take your belt off you. May the 19th, Allen Road, one of the biggest fights of the year, unquestionably. The IBF featherweight title fight, Lee Selby, defending his title for the fifth time against the local hero, Josh Warrington. It really has got all the ingredients. Josh. Alan Road, he says as he looks him right in the eye, being here, having this fight, is part of a dream, isn't it? Listen, John, destiny is taking its toll. Destiny is unfolding in front of us. I don't think there's a lot that Lee can do. This is just, I'm meant to win the world title on May 19th for Alan Road, and that's it. What do you think of Josh as a fighter? I respect him, just like any other fighter. You say, you say there that you've, you've respected me. In the early days when the rival was building, when I first met you all them years ago, we shook hands and, you know, I, you seemed a bit timid about wanting to shake hands. I respected you from, from that day because you'd, you'd achieved everything. You did know from then on, and Dal played any of my achievements. Any time you got asked about performances and whatnot, don't get me wrong, I've had some uh, where I haven't been my best at the office, but there's been times when you just, easy work, or oh, knock him out, not on my level. And then... A few months later, you turn that tide around and then, yeah, I want the fight, I want the fight. And then all of a sudden, back to easy work, don't belong at my level. You know, you've changed your opinion many a times. What is the truth? What do you think of me as a fighter? You say, you, I've bought all them titles. No, it's just natural progression. No. It's things that are about timing. You I, don't know you, I don't know whether you, you knew it or not. On another but level, and I've just Your promoter one. at the time bought the titles off me in order to build you up in front of your crowd, your home fans. Otherwise, you, you couldn't have been boxing the Leeds Arena of Water Tower. You bought the Commonwealth Regard, title. Regardless of that, I won, the world, I won the world. In the beginning, built you I up, the ready for me to knock you off. Right. But for some reason, the fight didn't happen then. Now what's happening? Well, it's May happening the 19th, we'll see. It takes a good fighter to win a world title. I've always said that. I've never said that it was a bad it fighter. It takes a great fighter to keep hold of it. I've defended it four yeah, exactly, times. This is my fifth defence. It's your fifth defence, but you, you won't make... It won't be a successful one. There's been cracks, and you've talked about... Oh, I'm easy every, way, every fighter got yeah, flaws. Every, 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 every fighter has a difference between me and there, any other fighter. You're in a fighter what you I find a way to. Be. I always find a way to win. That's what makes the difference. I'll find a way to win. Are you yeah. suggesting there that Josh isn't an elite level fighter? Josh certainly isn't. But you're like any, any younger. You know, you say you talk about prime and, and, and timing and everything else. For years you've said you're going to see the best out of me. We're still waiting. Been four or five times. Hopefully it comes out on me. Well, we'll see, we'll see. No more for yours. It is all about timing. Together. It is all about timing. And yeah, I've been downplayed for my achievements just because of my fan base. Yeah. But on May 19th, it'll show well, see. that I belong at that level. We'll see. Have you, uh, this is a question for both of you, have you seen weaknesses in him and likewise that you think you can exploit? I see, I see weaknesses in all, all fighters, you know. There isn't a perfect fighter. Of course, there's weaknesses in myself, and there's, there's plenty in Josh as well. So you've analysed him, looked at him, and uh, you can see weaknesses? I, I don't analyse, but I, but I know from watching, from watching boxing, every, everybody got flaws. Nobody's a f perfect fighter. The you closest can... to a perfect fighter, I'd say, is, is Sugar Ray Robinson. He's been beat. He's, he's, a, good, he's a good rounded fighter. He's got a good, good, good bit of experience behind him in those championship fights. But he haven't boxed someone like me. No one who can adapt on the night. And what about you, Josh? I don't think Lee does. I don't think you do the 12 rounds. Well, you set a fast pace well, but maintaining that throughout, like I say, you know. How many, how many 12 round fights have I, uh, have I won? No, that's fine. Or by we, unanimous decision. Listen, if I just stole the early rounds, none of them I wouldn't been, be winning by unanimous None of them decision. have been as fit as I am. I've, you know what I mean? None of them have been as fit as I am. I, I've got levels of fitness I can go through. I ain't even got out of second gear before. You know, when the best will come when it so needs that, to. That, that, that's but that's since since, since me winning the European title, I can I've stop you from the punches. What's that? I can stop you from punches and using your fingers. Right, okay. With General Ringcraft. Ring, General Ringcraft, but you couldn't stop can, that guy I, last time. You couldn't even throw a jab and he was catching left, right, and centre. Hmm? The guy you boxed last time yeah. couldn't even throw a jab, but he still caught you. He, Easy. Was, he, he was an undefeated fighter. He must have been after ID. It was ranked like 50th in IBO rankings. He was an undefe undefeated fighter like yourself. He must have been after ID. How many undefeated fighters have I beat? Maybe seven, eight? You tell me someone who's done that. I, I don't know many. Who do you think's the harder puncher? Do you think you're the sharper puncher? Neither of us are known for knockout artists, but I believe I'll punch out there. 
11 stone. You know what? On about, on about your, tw you know, your claims on social media about... Some, some guys... Some when, guy, when you walk listen, about it, have you weird? Right, I mean, you, no, 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 when, I'm just saying, when you, you said that when you walk out, if you wait, you'd bang the clean out, but nine stone, you're not a banger. So, some guy at reporter said, Josh Warrington claims you can't punch. I said, if I hit him on the chin now, he'd be sleeping. That's what I said. And that's the truth. If I got up now and chinned you, you would not do that. You wouldn't do that. Trust me. Don't do that. Don't do that. I wouldn't do that. Don't do that. Anyway, I'm a professional. I've won the world title. Yeah. I'm making my fifth defence. Yeah. I must be doing something right. Is the you've done all right, but you've just you've just got over the line. Right. You've, you've you've just got over the line for me. I mean, like I say, Monty, I'll give you an hard night. And what, what I, just feel, I, just feel, I just feel like a one, of, one of these opponents, really. I think if you'd have messed, stepped in with any of the opponents, Oscar Valdez, uh, Leo Santa Cruz, Calf Hampson, yeah. they'll beat you. And I feel it, I beat I, you. I've spied hundreds of rounds with Oscar Valdez. I don't think you'd think the same. You might be world champion in the gym, but being under the lights. No, no, no. In the <laughs> occasion, I'm world champion in real life. You might be world champion in the gym. You say no, 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 no. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. You listen to what I'm saying. You talk about being a world class and this other, right? You are a world champion under the lights, but being like world class and this and other, and you know you're the best in the gym. Doing that. But doing it on fight night is a different kettle of fish. How many times have I done it? Defending my title five times. Yeah, and this, this is, is what, this is what I'm trying to get to you. That I am on that level, I'm better than them. We'll see. I'm a different level. We'll see. And we'll, I'll, I'll show well, you. We'll go for my defences. Right. The first defence, Fernando Montiel. Elite fighter. Past his yeah. best. Still an elite fighter. Something you'll never be. <laughs> Ask anybody about Eric Hunter in America. Great amateur, outstanding amateur. Brilliant amateur. But amateurs, good, amateurs. Good fighter as a professional. Amateurs, amateurs. A good fighter as a professional. But not Who's the next defence? Jonathan Victor Barros, former world champion, made Raising plenty of defences. Better fighter than you. <laughs> I'd beat any of them fighters. Even like, the guy I'd I won the title of, Evgeny Gradovich. And I won't get put on my backside. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm 100 percent positive I won't get put on my sure? backside. Yeah. You take about, you talk about your big, uh, you've got a big solid chin and you spout with these um, light middles and this and other, but I want to put you on your backside easily. I've been shot. Have you, yeah, have you ever seen a fight where I've Look been at Muhammad Ali. Away. Did he get put on his ass? Yes. And what did he do? Get up and win the fight. Madeline. What we're did talking, I do? Talking, the same thing. We're talking same about thing. heavyweights. We're talking about I did the same thing. Got put down. Got up. Won the fight. Comfortable. And you? You're just another defence. Right, well, we'll see. We'll no, see. Another defence. We'll see. Nothing special. There's the possibility after this of Carl Frampton in Belfast. That's the one they're talking about. I know your eyes at the moment on this one, but how much would you, if you come through this, how much would you welcome that? Well, when I beat Josh, th th that'd be the next one I'm looking at. And what about you, Josh? Listen, I think uh, me and Carl, it'd be a bigger fight than what Lee is. Obviously, he's not known uh, really with his fan base and whatnot. He's not really, he don't really appeal to anybody, you know. Um, you know, they don't like banging door to watch him. I don't think he's the most entertaining, so yeah. No, but I'm the best. Going on to... You're trying to sell us a fight that's ready, so chill out. I'm not trying to sell a fight. I'm just you know, saying, I'm just telling people what they want to do. Just turn up May the 19th. I, I will take, take a May beating 19th, like the rest yeah. of my opponents and take be a happy with that. See, that's, that's a cockiness. You, you don't know what you are. You come here, you start I know, I'm, humble. Better I know yeah. I'm better than you. I know I'm better than you. I'm very humble. We'll see on May 19th. Humble. Listen, you are going to be able to call that. You're bumping your guns. that when I'm catching you clean. Catching you clean and non-stop. You're not going to stop. I watched you against Kiko Martin this. You watched it, yeah. When Ryan twist you. I was supposed to demand him for a round. When Ryan Boxed it one hand. Never been hurt. Yeah. Never been on canvas. Okay. When Ryan twist your eye against Kiko Martinez, that, that's what happened when me and Kiko Martinez smiled. That's good. Oh, I will do. I'll give him a call up. That's good. What are you going to feel when you walk out of the dressing room, see this man who you say has been obsessed with you for the last two or three years, and you hear that deafening support? I'll How's be that out, going to be? I feel the same as I am now. Cool, calm and collected. Go out with a sharp head. You won't call hit, the card and collect the press conference. Why, why, you, why you think them couple of, the, couple of guys <laughs> you're doing here? Don't be <laughs> did, you see, did you see your face? Don't be silly. Did you see your face? Again, you're trying to sell a fight this whole story. Oh, this whole mate, I'm, telling you, I'm just letting you know what you're in for. Why, you think that was you hostile? You can't prepare for that it. You can't. Listen, Listen, come on. That's just, that was tame, yeah, it was tame. What but do you mean, you see my face? What, you can't prepare what are they for it. What are you going to come? You call yourself a bad boy and this time you even walk around the ring after you fight. I'm a bad man, you're not a bad man. Where you know Where did you get that from, bad man? You come on man. The this word is, don't come out my mouth. You're deluded, bad like. man, don't come out my mouth. Yeah, it does. When you, after in previous fights you've gone up to cameras, I'm a bad man. I'm a very bad no, man. No, I, you know, I give a little a Muhammad Ali quote. And that's about it. You know, you, you think you're not gonna get phased by this. This is uh, you talk about for fighting in a way. I ain't gonna get phased by a couple of guys. You talk about going to Liverpool and fighting, you know, Steve Smith and he's 
This is different. You've never been in a crowd like this. What? What? If you're banking on the bloody crowd up, you've got another thing coming. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying they're part of party. They're just part of party. Well, remember, during it's the fight, you've got to deal with them. Pop, pinging you with a jab, and they're going back and forth like Noddy. Right, right, right. Just, <laughs> yeah. You, you open them. Yeah, I, I stand. You open them I stand up. still and come forward in straight lines. Oh, like covered up. Yeah, I stand your still and come forward in straight lines. Keep coming, Martinez. Pop, landing yeah. them body shots. Yeah. Keep coming, Martinez. Is about that big, so I can only throw up. Nobody can reach me. Well, he hurt you a few times, didn't he? No, not all. Yes, he did. No, I can hand on that, put my hand on I the table. See. I've never been hurt. Okay. You believe what you want. I'm you a psychologist. Listen, you, you, you can run him off. But we'll I'm running him because I'm just letting you know. You're coming in here with cocky, with a big belief that you're just going to be in it. It's going to be an easy life. It's going to be here, but it's easy not. work. Just chill out. See, it's see, see what we'll get here, John. From, from first defense. on, he's, he's gone already. His box has gone already. From this first start interview, he was saying to me, Oh, it's going to be a tough fight, it's going to be a decent fight, Josh. Now he's going to try and build the fight. I, mean. I can't let the fans know it's going to be a mismatch, can I? <sighs> right. Selling the fight, are you? Stop selling the fight, chill out. So you don't think it's going to be a mismatch? You don't even I, know I believe think, I'm going to win the fight comfortable, just like the rest of my fights. I believe either a unanimous decision or a late stoppage. Comfortable. Them, like, them last four fights weren't comfortable, mate. What, what was the result? Defenses. What was the result? Yeah, you got, the win. You, got the win, you got the win, you got the win, you got the win, you got the win, but they weren't comfortable. Not Go on like you're the champion, you're just, just, just another challenger. Listen, I'm just another challenger, but we can take your belt off you. Yeah. Josh, if you win okay. this title... When I win this title... That's a big if. What would it mean to you? It's just meant to be. And if you retain your title... When? Yeah. If you retain your title, how much would that mean to you? Again, it's just, a, just another defence to me, you know? They better be going back home on the shelf where it belongs. We wish you all the best. We hope that it's going to be a, a very special night. I hope you can fight like you talk. So. <laughs> it's going to be a great. Uh, it's going to be a great atmosphere. That's going to be absolutely so guaranteed. And uh, as so the fight gets a little bit closer, I think they're probably going to dislike each other a little bit more. Lee, Josh, thank you very much. Can't wait. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.